nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, engines full power, and lift off of Transporter 7. Go Falcon, go Transporter. Vehicles pushing downrange. Stage 1 propulsion nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight and Falcon 9 has cleared the tower at Space Launch Complex for east. We're currently throttling down the engines in preparation for max Q. Max Q is the maximum Nominal power and telemetry. Max Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure the vehicle will see on ascent. That's the largest structural load yeah, on the vehicle. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Good callouts there and we are coming up on max Q in just a few seconds from now. Q. Great news, we've passed through Max Q. Now with that, we do have a few events coming up here back to back. That will be Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SES one. And back chill has started. And the start of the boost back burn. Now Miko is main engine cutoff. That's where we will shut down all of those engines that you are seeing lit up on your screen. That will help slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. Stage one will begin to make its journey back to Earth with stage one flip and the boost back burn. And the second stage will ignite the MVAC engine for the first time with SES one or second stage engine start one. And as a reminder, once we have stage separation, we should be able to see the shorter nozzle in there. You can actually see it on your screen. Again, we are flying a shorter nozzle for this mission. And you can see it there on your screen and we are preparing for a few events coming up. Miko, stage separation, S1 flip, or stage one flip, SES one, and the boost back burn on the first stage. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And incredible views there. We've had Miko stage separation. The first stage vehicle has performed its flip maneuver and has started up its boost back burn. And on your right hand screen, what an incredible view. You could see the shorter MVAC nozzle there and that MVAC engine burning extremely bright on the screen. And we are coming up on fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Perfect timing. You saw the fairing have separating from the second stage. As they make their way back down to earth, we will attempt to recover them. And again, just incredible views on your screen. On the left hand side, you can see the boost back burn for the first stage vehicle. Stage one boost back shut down. And great call out. That concludes the boost back burn of the first stage as you saw that engine shut down. And on your right hand screen, that MVAC engine is still burning bright. Now the next major milestone coming up will be the entry burn on the first stage, which is scheduled to occur around the T plus six minute mark. Stage one landing burn. Great call out there. That landing burn has begun. You can see it right there. Landing led deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And as you saw and probably heard, we had a successful first stage landing at landing zone four. Lemur 2 on reflection separation confirmed.
Gaspar separation confirmed. That confirms nine total deployments so far, and we were able to see one of them there on your screen live. Also very cool view. We are looking forward at the payload with Earth in the background. Typho 1 separation confirmed. Connect uh, T2.1 separation confirmed. Separation confirmed. LS two F separation confirmed. Facts at Chiri Bikite separation confirmed. Rosie CubeSat 1 and Inspire Sat separation confirmed. Pleiades Yearling separation confirmed. Another seven deployments have been confirmed so far for a total of 16 deployments. We are currently in the first deployment sequence. And we have a total of 21 deployments in the sequence. Again, 16 deployments confirmed so far. We actually have 21 deployments that we will hear with ground station coverage in a total of 35 deployments in this It's about time, separation confirmed. Serbi, separation confirmed. Another two deployments have been confirmed. That is a total of 18 deployments confirmed so far. Again, we are expected to lose ground station coverage after the 21st deployment. Once we regain coverage, we will confirm the deployments that happened during that period. Lemur 2 Space Gust separation confirmed. An additional two more deployments have been confirmed, total of 20 so far. And we are seeing some pretty cool views of Earth there I on the screen. We are expecting to be able to confirm one more additional deployment before we lose ground station coverage. That's coming up here in about 30 seconds. Again, so far we've confirmed 20 deployments for this mission.
Lemur 2, Romeo and Leo, separation confirmed. And great news with that deployment that confirms part of the first set of deployments. So far we've had 21. And we are now entering the blackout period that I mentioned previously during this time. We are expecting six payloads to deploy. Another confirmation of deployment. Vigoride separation confirmed. And with that call out, you could see that confirms all 35 deployments for this set. Coming up next, we have two more burns from our second stage before our last payload deployment. We'll relight our second stage engine, the MVAC, a third time at the T plus one hour and 46 minute mark. So we'll see you back here in about 23 minutes. HBK. Emache, separation confirmed. And there it is. You can see the Meja spacecraft for Tubitak Uzai drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. And with that confirmation, it brings us to 36 of 36 deployments for this mission. If you're interested, a full listing of today's payloads can be found over at SpaceX.com. We would like to thank all of our Rideshare customers for their support on today's mission. Continue to follow us at SpaceX.com, Twitter, and Instagram for updates on future missions and milestones. Thank you to all of our viewers for your continued support, and we'll see you again soon.